Hey, it's Tuxedo Mark, and I just turned 7.52 p.m. on uh, Friday, April 23rd, 2021. And I'm going to do another uh, I call it an unboxing video, more like an unwrapping video, because this came in the mail, and uh, I know what it is. Because a friend of mine on Facebook sent it to me. Um, oh, careful. My cat Coco is on my desk right right here. I uh, can't see him. But he likes to stretch out. I had to clear space just for him. I had to move my CDs. Oh, hey, uh, country sandwich. Yeah, I had to move my CDs because they kept falling off the desk because the cats kept knocking them off. Uh, and now, Coco stretched out and he's dangerously close to knocking a book and a DVD off the desk. Hey, uh, McSip. Um, or McSimp. Okay, so I'm going to open this up that I got in the mail. Just showed up today. Oh, I can get it open. All right, okay, here we go. Ugh. All right. So this is a gem shirt. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, oh, hey, Nikki. Uh, same to you. Um, so, yeah, uh, a friend of mine on Facebook just asked me if I wanted this. And I asked what size it is. And then I'm like, yeah, sure. So, uh, so she just sent it to me. Um, so I'll probably be wearing it in a future video. Um, okay. So. Uh, I just wanted to share that. I got a new Chem shirt. I love Chem. I grew up watching Chem back in the 80s. Um, and I've got on DVD. I got the old Rhino set. I don't remember if there were one or two sets back then. That was like in the early 2000s. And then I got the uh, Shout Factory Complete Series set. Um which doesn't have the uh, bonus features. It doesn't have the old bonus features. And I think there were new ones on a limited edition set, maybe. But they're not on the complete series set, I don't believe. At least not the one that I have. But anyway, speaking of gem, um, yeah, I... I even uh, had gone a bunch of episodes on VHS back in the day um, because someone had sent me like the entire Transformers series on VHS and I was getting into Transformers in the late 90s when I was in college. I never watched it back in the 80s. But I remember Jim and... At first, on uh, my 21st birthday, well, shortly before my 21st birthday, which was on October 18, 1999, shortly before that, I had visited a video rental store. It was just a locally owned video rental store in another city in the county. And I had seen a Transformers episode on VHS there. It was called Roll For It. And by that time, I'd already gotten the complete series on 
VHS tapes from some other fan on the internet. And they were all just these recorded off broadcast TV, very poor quality episodes. But that was my first time watching the series, basically, and I enjoyed it. So when I saw that Rolford VHS tape, I decided for my birthday, I would return to the store because I didn't rent it at that time, but I would return to the store and I would rent the tape and make a copy of it. So I would have a better copy, a better quality copy of the episode. Um, because I'd gotten like a double, uh, I was getting like a dual deck VCR. I don't know if I knew that at the time or not, but it was like a two deck VCR type of thing. Um, so when I returned to the video rail store, I rented that episode, but I also saw uh, Jem, Truly Outrageous. And that that might take a bit too long to get into in this uh, episode, in this video. But basically, Jem started out as a segment on a show called Super Sunday, where it would, each segment would last a few minutes long. and would go from week to week for like 15 segments, I think. And then they, when it went to series, when it was eventually given a full series, those 15 segments were edited together into the first five episodes of the series. But also, like, simultaneously or parallel to it or whatever, it was edited together to a movie called Truly Outrageous. And each of the different iterations of the episodes has, like, differences between them it, it's really weird what they did to it back then and what you get on dvd now is not exactly the original version hey john but anyway so i'm like jim i remember that from watching it in the 80s so i rented that too i was so much fun being reintroduced to these characters so i was on a Jim group on Yahoo. Hey, Spoocy MC. Um, and someone offered to record, like, copy her Jim episodes for me in exchange for Transformers episodes. So I copied the Transformers episodes. I sent them to her. Oh, it is. Thank you. Are you? How are you doing? So, uh, she was upset with the quality of the Transformers episodes I sent her, and, but she had agreed to send me the Gem episodes, so she did. And I was surprised that the Gem episodes were, were pretty good quality. I was expecting to get something like those crappy uh, quality Transformers episodes that I sent her, but they, they were pretty good, so... I watched those fairly quickly, and that was my reintroduction to I basically, I think I got her tapes on December 30th, 1999, and at that time, ABC was preparing 24-hour live coverage of New Year's Eve celebrations around the world, so I was going to watch that, too. But while I was waiting for that, uh, I don't know what time that started, but while I was waiting for that, I decided to start watching those gem episodes. It was so it was so much fun. So of course I've got the DVD sets and I've like looked into the differences between different versions of the episodes and stuff like that. Um, I've read some fanfics back in the day. Um, went to see the movie. I like I like the movie. Okay, I'll be honest. I like the movie, even though it's it doesn't have much in common with the show. But anyway, how would you guys feel uh, about me like doing gym rewatches? 
and sharing my thoughts on the episodes as I watch them. Like, whether they're, like, live reactions or just discussing the episodes after I watch them. Um, there's 65 episodes, so I'm just kind of asking right now. I'm not committing to it because I know I've got, like, other series that I'm reviewing right now. Like, I got to get back to Punky Brewster and The Stand, for example. Uh, yeah, I watch anime. Um, various things, mostly Sailor Moon is my favorite. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Vampire Night, Vampire Hunter D, Bubblegum Crisis. Um, Gundam, even though I have like a love hate relationship with Gundam because I don't like it when characters die, and Gundam is kind of known for that uh, for killing off characters. Um, I think I've watched through the first season of Double Zero, and maybe I started on the second season, I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying to remember what else from anime that I watch. Um, hmm. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm in. I'm into anime. Um, but yeah, so if there's enough interest in me doing the gem reviews, um, like episode by episode, uh, then I'll, I'll consider doing it. Um, even though I'm probably, like, pretty familiar with these episodes, even though I haven't watched them in a long time. Um, but, yeah, so we'll see about that. Um, you, you can't... Do you watch a new live-action Riverdale series? Yes, I do. I'm a long-time Archie Comics fan. I've been into Archie Comics since 1990, when my mom bought me my first digest in a supermarket checkout line. So I was excited for Riverdale, and I watch Riverdale even though it's so ridiculous and over the top. But that's kind of that's kind of the appeal of it. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I've watched Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, even though I haven't seen part four yet. And I know how it ends, and I'm upset with how it ends. Yeah. Uh, but I've also watched Kitty Keen, and I'm upset that that was canceled. Uh, yeah, Nikki, I love RG Comics, too. I, I'm really into Archie. I used to have tons and tons of digests. I gave them away uh, to a local thrift store because I had like I was running out of room for them. Um, these days, I mostly buy digital comics. So, uh, Coco. Yeah, Co Coco, you can't see him, but Coco is resting his head on a DVD. Um, and it, it, it's just stretching out, sleeping. It's kind of adorable. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, with, Ri with Riverdale, I actually have a blog. Uh, it's called Riverdale Review. Um, and despite the title, I've reviewed only the first two episodes of the series because reviewing a 40 minute episode is quite a bit of work. And I tend to take a lot of screen caps and editing all of that together takes a long time. So I've done only the first two episodes of Riverdale, but I have reviewed every 
episode of the New Archies, which is a 1987 cartoon series. And I've reviewed like eight episodes of Archie's Weird Mysteries, and I hope to review the entire series, but that'll be slow going. What I found that's a lot easier to do, sorry, is to just review comic stories. So these days, it's mostly just the Archie Comics review. A review blog and specifically Cheryl Blossom Comics because Cheryl is like one of my favorite characters. Uh, it's either her or Betty. Um, so I have, uh, I'm trying to review all of Cheryl's solo series. Um, the Link, if you're interested in checking out my blog, is riverdalereview.com. So, yeah. Um, I've, I haven't posted since last month because I'm actually working on a big review and I'm almost done writing it. And then there's, and I've taken most of the screen caps, there's just the, uh, issue of you know actually post again and uploading all the screen caps and putting everything in order before I actually post it. Uh but I hope to get it done this month. Uh so there's that to look forward to. Oh you might have seen Hermione walking around in the background. She just hopped up on the table. Um so, yeah, that, that's what's going on with me. Um, I'm also currently doing my first ever rewatch of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. I watched both series from beginning to end back in the day on the WB and UPN. And this is my first time rewatching them. So, Coco, care. Careful, sweetie. I love you, but be careful. Don't knock my stuff over. Um, oh, by the way, I can't tell I'm wearing a Dua Lipa shirt. Uh, yeah, I like I like the angel. I'm cur I am currently in the middle of season four of Buffy and season one of Angel. Um, the latest Angel episode I watched is, uh, The Ring. That's the one with the, like, the Demon Fight Club. So, and, uh, the latest Buffy episode that I watched before that was Who Are You? That was the second part of the Buffy and Faith Switch Bodies, uh, two-parter. So that's where I'm at right now with that. I've been trying to watch one episode of Buffy and one episode of Angel every day. But I, I don't know if I can keep up with that. Uh, with that pace. Um, particularly since I have work. Coco, can you move your head, please? All right, I guess, I guess I'm going to have to move my stuff. <laughs> So, uh, I love you, Coco. Um, so, yeah, there, there's that. And speaking of Buffy, um, I am doing an episode by episode rewrite fan fiction. Um, Hey, Jorge. Hey, Random Cactus 56. Hey, guys. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, I'm on uh, AO3 Archive of Our Own as Tuxedo Mark. If, if you want to check out my Buffy fic. Um, so, um, 
think that's that's about it. I just I was I just wanted to pop on to share this uh this gym shirt. Um yeah. <laughs> and uh Yeah, I like, yeah, it is. I agree. I love the shirt. Um, I even made, I think, a, oh, hi, careful, careful, Coco. Um, if Coco accidentally hits a key on my keyboard and disrupts the stream, I apologize. <laughs> uh, but uh, a radio station on Pandora, it's called K Gem, and I seeded it with the songs from the the songs and artists from the Dream Tour cassette uh, from back in the eighties. Uh, so obviously, there are no actual Gem songs on this on station because there are no Gem songs on Pandora. But I added. Those other artists and songs. And I also added Britta Phillips and her band Luna. And um, I added the Chen movie soundtrack as well as uh, Aubrey Peoples, I think Stephanie Scott probably, and um, well, Aubrey people, I think I had like the Nashville cast or something like that. Uh, and I had Haley Kiyoko. So, yeah. Um, I, <coughs> I made a previous video about my Pandora stations and Spotify playlists. So, um, the links to all of them are the description of that video if you want to check them out. Um, Coco, do you want to maybe say hi to the internet? Coco's like, no, leave me alone. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, so thanks for, uh, oh yeah, th thanks, for, thanks. Um, so, I, uh, I guess that's about it for now. Uh, I, all that I had planned on doing was uh, was sharing this shirt, but I guess it turned into a little bit of a chat, and so that's fine. Um, so I, I I am hesitant to make any kind of a schedule for this channel because knowing me, I, I would never be able to stick to it. But you know, for the time being, I just plan to, I got to get back into reviewing Punky Brewster and finish off the stand. And um, then we'll see. Uh, oh, yeah. And um, I guess get back into doing the Voltron vlogs. Um, yeah. So you can look forward to that sometime. And um, yeah, thanks to everyone that showed up. And um, yeah, that's it. It's uh, 8.16 p.m. And uh, thanks for watching.